Hi, my name is Carolyn Yates, and I'm a solutions engineer at Checkmarks. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about onboarding projects through your CI/CD pipeline. Today, we'll be reviewing how to integrate a Checkmarks component from within your Azure DevOps CI/CD pipeline. To create the new pipeline, we can come to New Pipeline. We'll then select a Azure repo in the repository that we're wanting to build the CI/CD pipeline for. I'm going to begin with a starter pipeline. We can easily add a component for a checkmarks task. I'll come to the right-hand side of my screen and select Show Assistant. From within the tax tasks, I can then type checkmarks. You will notice the checkmarks AST. When I select checkmarks AST, it's going to prompt us for a service connection and a tenant name. The service connections can be pre-configured within your project settings, which we'll take a look at in a moment. But we can select the service connection from here and then provide the tenant name for our environment. Additional parameters can also be included. These parameters can help us to initiate specific type of scans, use specific types of presets, and much, much more. I can then add this component to my YAML file. This task has now been configured as a checkmarks task for my environment. I can click Save and Run, and this will kick off the pipeline. Now that the pipeline has been created, the job will run and return us results from the checkmarks scan. Once the pipeline has completed, we're able to review the job. We can come into the specific job and see that there is now a tab for Checkmarks 1. We can select the Checkmarks 1 component and we're able to see the risk component for this project. We're able to see the total number of vulnerabilities that were discovered, along with which scanning engines discovered these vulnerabilities. You'll also notice that we have links to the scan ID and to more details from within the Checkmarks 1 portal. As I mentioned, we can configure a service connection from within our project settings. We can come to project settings and scroll down to pipelines, service connections. You'll notice that I have a few pre-existing service connections here, but I can come to new service connection and search for checkmarks. I'll select the checkmarks one service connection, then next. From here, I will then provide credentials to authenticate this service connection. This can be done using a client ID and secret or an API key authentication. You will provide the server URL, the Checkmarks 1 authentication URL, the Checkmarks 1 client ID and secret, and service connection details such as the name that you are assigning and optional fields like service management reference and description. Once these fields are completed, the service connection can be saved and utilized within your CI/CD pipeline. And that's how you onboard projects with your CI/CD pipeline. If you like this video, we have a lot more videos on our Checkmarks YouTube channel. Check out the link below for more.